Yo, how are you guys all doing today? My name is Kyoxer. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel for another video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top 10 Black Ops 3 multiplayer maps. Sit back, relax, and enjoy, guys. Now, you know, there's just, I think, one day left before Infinite Warfare drops. So, you know what? Let's count down the top 10 Black Ops 3 maps. But here's a catch, guys. Um, You're probably thinking, like, you know what? I already know all the maps that are going to be on this list, so there's no point. Well, I just want to tell you guys that you're wrong because, you know, some of my like this is my opinion so some of these like maps are probably not going to be on the top 10 that you probably would have thought were going to be on the top 10 for example i can tell you right now that combine is not on this but anyways guys let's get started moving in to number 10 spot we're going to talk about empire so i'm going to quickly talk about empire empire you know honestly it's a good map but just with the Black Ops 3 movement, I didn't really feel that it played the same and it was just all over the place. However, I did like the water part. That was pretty cool. Number 9, we're going to talk about Outlaw. So Outlaw comes in at number 9 now, guys. Outlaw, again, great map. It looks really pretty cool, you know, a cool theme, but it did not play the same as, you know, the original standoff. So that was kind of disappointing, but, you know, however, it is still a good map and I do enjoy it. Also, guys, by the way, um, make sure that you guys tell me what you think down in the comment section below. Tell me your favorite, you know, maps, your top 5, top 3, top 10, whatever. Moving on, guys, number 8 is Stronghold. Now, guys, this map is so nice. I mean, just the snow theme, beautiful. It's really good for competitive, good for all game modes, all around just a solid map. I really do enjoy it. However, it's one of those maps that, like, you don't really enjoy it, but at the same time, you really enjoy it. It's kind of weird, but yeah, all around, it's just a good map. Anyways, moving on to number 7, this is a DLC map. It is Knockout. Now, guys, Knockout was such a beautiful map, guys. The colors are absolutely amazing. Now, I mean, it doesn't really look like a Call of Duty map, but you know what? The colors are so nice, and... I really like the playstyle of the map. You can play a lot of game modes. And Search and Destroy is really cool. Team Deathmatch, Search and Destroy. Those are all good game modes for that map. Moving on to the number 6 spot, which is Rise. This map here, you see the gameplay now, guys. This map is so nice. I just love the theme of the map. It's really cool. But the main reason I really like this map is because it's 3 lanes. And there's some cool wa like underwater swim parts. But the main reason is that it feels like an old school map with just futuristic movement. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but... When I'm playing this map, I just get like that kind of like Black Ops 1 vibe from it. I don't know why, but I mean, I really like Black Ops 1 maps, so this map is pretty cool, and I get that vibe from it. Okay, guys, so moving on to the number 5th spot now. That's going to be Infection. Now, this map is absolutely amazing. I mean, you have one map here, and then if you look on the side, you have another map here. That is pretty cool, and what I really like about it is that it's so nice for snipers. You just have those two sides. There's a cool wall run, a mountain. It's great, great for Team Deathmatch and search and destroy it's just one of those maps you want to hop on just place a quick you know game maybe snipe casual play great map for that and moving on to number four now this is micro first things first it doesn't really look like a call of duty map i mean just because like it's you're fighting in like candy bars and a picnic table it's just kind of weird you know but however i guess it's kind of cool to mix things up you know, because Black Ops 3 is already a joke. I mean, there's futuristic stuff. It's The game's already a joke, right? So, you know, why not add some fun into the game? Now, the thing about this game is, or this map, is that it's so nice. Like, I didn't really think that it would be that cool. First things first, it looks amazing because you're just fighting with, like, french fries, like, taller than you. And there's ants the same size as you. It's pretty crazy, but... What's really good about it is it actually plays pretty good. I mean, the gameplay and the way it feels, is it plays pretty smooth, so that is nice. Okay, guys, so we're moving on to our top three. Now, that is going to be Hunted. Hunted, great map. I love the water in that. That is just absolutely amazing. Good for all game modes, and you know what? All around, just a beautiful, well-played, solid map. I really, really enjoy Hunted. Every single time I play it, it's amazing. You can use it, like, you can use any gun, and any playstyle, and you'll do good. It's just an all-around amazing map. Moving on to number two, guys. This one's probably pretty obvious for some people, and that is Fringe. Man, this map is absolutely amazing. Good for all playstyle. The map looks nice. It plays nice. It's smooth. I mean, 
what's bad about it, you know? The only thing that's bad about it is that it's in a futuristic game. Honestly, like, even if it was a boots on the ground Call of Duty, that map would still be amazing. I mean, it's just so nice for every single type of gun. And when you play it, you just have so much fun because it's not too big, it's not too small. It's just the right size. Pretty cool, you can do a lot of things on it. And yeah, it's going to come at number two. Now, guys, like I said, this is just my opinion. So, at number one, I don't know if you guys like this map. You may like it, but that is going to be Berserk. This map is absolutely amazing. I mean, this map, the theme of it is so cool. It's like a stormy, dark, kind of, not really dark, but like light, lightish, dark, snowy map. It's amazing. You got like these two, I don't even know what they are, statues on the side. They're huge. And, the, you know, the, the theme of it is really nice. It's good for all game modes, it's good for all weapons, all playstyles, but the thing I like about it the most is it plays so amazing, like, I just love playing on that map, on that map because, you know, it's so much fun, like, I have not had, like, that much fun on any Call of Duty map in this game until Berserk came out, and keep in mind, guys, it came out a while after the game, so the game was really stale, and then once I got that, and I started playing that, I was so happy I was playing this game probably like every single day again. So yeah, that's going to be my list, my top 10 list. Also guys, I just want to say sorry if this video wasn't the best, but you know what, honestly guys, I'm just getting kind of frustrated because I try to make this video like 10 times already. But anyways guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day. It's been your boy Kyle, and I'm out. Peace.